gonna bad English? Is it wrong? Is it improper? Yes and no. And also you have options. You certainly don't want to be saying going to all the time. Let's explore. Personally, I don't like a gonna in writing at all. I wouldn't use it in a text or an email to a friend, but that's personal preference. Some people think it's not a problem. However, it would be absolutely inappropriate to use it in something like a cover letter. So don't use it in professional writing. And if you're not sure, just don't use it. Spoken English, however, is an entirely different thing. Reductions like gonna are a natural part of spoken English and have a place there, whether it's a conversation with a friend or in an important professional environment. Professional English is not English where each word is clearly and fully pronounced. This is not natural English in any setting. This example. And you're so determined to get there that you're just going to crash through any obstacle. Can you do that? A business person in a professional setting giving a speech use not only gonna, but also wanna. We'll get into that more and other good pronunciations and reductions for going to in a minute. But first, you need to know some grammar about when you can and can't use gonna. It has to be followed by a verb if you're gonna use gonna. Did you hear that? Gonna use. The next word, use, a verb. It's okay to pronounce going to as gonna. But you can't use it in these cases. The word after going to is not a verb. Going to my friend's house, my, not a verb. Can't reduce to gonna. Going to the grocery store, the, not a verb, can't say gonna. So we can't say, I'm gonna my friend's house, or I'm gonna the grocery store. Instead say, I'm going to my friend's house, or I'm going to the grocery store. But let's change the sentences. I'm going to drive to my friend's house. I'm going to go to the grocery store. Now what comes after going to? Drive and go, both verbs. So going to in both of these sentences can be pronounced gonna. I'm going to drive to my friend's house. I'm going to go to the grocery store. Every once in a while, I'll get a comment from someone or an email when I'm teaching reductions that's like this. This is horrible English. How dare you call yourself an English teacher? But show me one example where reductions aren't present in American English. I've never found one. In fact, once I got an email from someone complaining about Obama using gonna and the to reduction. I pointed out that these reductions are an important part of spoken English and that Trump, who was president at the time, uses reductions as well. Anyone, everyone, rightly so, uses reductions. But she never emailed me back. You know, most native speakers just have no idea about their own pronunciation habits. You know what? Let's hear a to reduction from Trump. He's gonna say, to protect our families, to, to, to protect brave law enforcement officers who risk their lives every day to protect our families and our country. To protect. Okay, but would he use gonna? Yes, he uses it twice here. Other people aren't going to bring it back. Certainly the person that we're dealing with is not going to bring it back. So love reductions. Embrace them. Presidents use them. Gonna is extremely common. Now, we just mentioned the to reduction. You can use a to reduction in the phrase going to instead of gonna. You can say going to, going to, 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 to. We almost never pronounce that going to, going to. I'm going to be a little bit late. So to reduction, t schwa, to. In a minute, we'll hear more examples of that. Another common reduction is, instead of saying gonna or going to, is to say going to, a flap T, going to, da 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 da, going to. I'm going to be a little bit late. So we can say gonna, going to, or going to. All of these are good reductions for any situation and will sound more natural than going to. You know, if you're a non-native speaker and you didn't learn these reductions and they're not that comfortable for you, I get that. I'll include a training session at the end of this video so you can get more used to making these sounds so they become more natural and comfortable for you. 
But now let's listen to some real world examples. I went to Youglish and for American English, I typed in going to. Now the kinds of videos that usually show up on Youglish tend to be talks, TED talks, presentations, that kind of thing. So perhaps a little bit more professional than conversational English, but still, even in these professional settings, gonna is dominant. I listened to a hundred examples of going to. The reduction gonna happened 58 times. The other examples had a different reduction. The full pronunciation of going to didn't happen. Let's listen to a few examples of gonna. We are gonna be okay. We're gonna go green, we're gonna put solar on our roof and it's gonna cost so much. We're gonna see more cancer. So how are we gonna do it? How are we gonna do it together? And what I'm gonna to argue today is that you know that kids are gonna say exactly what they think. I knew it wasn't gonna be easy work. Something he thought was gonna be an insane product that's gonna change the world, that's gonna make a dent in the universe. Didn't know ahead of time who you were gonna be. And that just wasn't gonna happen on my watch. Um, and I'm gonna answer the questions that people always ask me. Gonna, 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 so much gonna. Get really comfortable with this pronunciation. As I said, I'll give you some pointers and help you train in the second part of this video. Now we'll listen to some examples where the word to is pronounced t. True t schwa going to, going to. This happened 24 out of 100 times. You're just going to plant and grow problems everywhere you go. And then things are going to necessarily get messy. You're going to remember this talk. And I think we are going to take some questions. We slip into thinking that always being connected is going to make us feel less alone. Okay. But now I'm going to make it cold. She's feeling more and more like her entire life is only ever going to be. Medication alone is probably not going to be enough. The other narrative that I'm going to talk about is the idea of the super immigrant. Kaspersky was one of the very first companies that, uh, that said that they were going to start taking this seriously. And finally, the reduction where two is pronounced with a flap T, going to, going to, going to. This one occurred 18 times out of 100. So the best strategies are going to vary between individuals. Remind me that I wasn't going to feel this way forever. We believe that 50% of all retail this year is going to be influenced somehow. What that future is going to be like. You're going to need to know your net worth because it's going to be the ultimate tracker. Is it going to scratch the itch? Self-reflection is what's going to propel us forward in the long run. It's going to be important. What are they going to be catching up to? These days, I believe less in silver bullets that are going to fix everything. If you're wondering what's the difference between these reductions, when you should use one, when you should use another, don't worry about it, they're interchangeable, it doesn't matter. It's probably easiest to learn gonna and stick with that one. So to answer the question, is gonna wrong? If you don't already know, is no, absolutely not. It's very right in spoken English. Now, let's get into some training. G consonant, a vowel, very relaxed, ga 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 low placement ga not ga 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 not high placement ga 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 gonna gonna the tongue flaps quickly on the roof of the mouth for the n gonna na 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 gonna gonna and a schwa at the end that second syllable should be as short as fast as you can make it it's not uh it's uh, no longer than that, gonna, gonna. First syllable a bit longer, second syllable just as short as you can make it, gonna, gonna. I say it, then you repeat it back out loud. Training is pointless if you're not gonna do it out loud, train it with me. Focus on the rhythm and making that second syllable as short as you can, focus on the placement nice and low, ga, 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 gonna. Repeat after me 10 times. Make your whole face relaxed. Gonna, 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 good. Now we'll get into some sentences. We'll train 10 sentences. You'll hear just gonna, then some fragments, then the whole sentence. 
Each time you see the word repeat, say what you just heard. You'll listen and repeat to each part three times. Be careful that you're not over-pronouncing. There might also be other words in the sentence that reduce or are unstressed. Say them quickly, just like the last syllable of gonna. You're going to have to simplify your mouth movements to match the speed of what you hear. Rely on your ear. Maybe even you want to close your eyes. Maybe you don't even want to see the text on the screen. Just rely on your ear and repeat what you hear. You can do this. In this audio file, you'll hear sentences with the reduction of gonna. You'll hear each sentence fragment three times. Repeat each time. Are you going to go to class? Gonna. 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 You gonna. You gonna. You gonna. You gonna go. You gonna go. You gonna go. Are you gonna go to class? Are you gonna go to class? Are you gonna go to class? It's gonna be really hot tomorrow. Gonna. 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 It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be really hot tomorrow. It's gonna be really hot tomorrow. It's gonna be really hot tomorrow. We're gonna be a few minutes late. Gonna. 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 We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna be. We're gonna be. We're gonna be. We're gonna be a few minutes late. We're gonna be a few minutes late. We're gonna be a few minutes late. John's gonna do that for us. Gonna. 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 John's gonna. John's gonna. John's gonna. John's gonna do. John's gonna do. John's gonna do. John's gonna do that for us. John's gonna do that for us. John's gonna do that for us. Are you gonna stop by? Gonna. 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 You gonna. You gonna. You gonna. You gonna stop? You gonna stop? You gonna stop? Are you gonna stop by? Are you gonna stop by? Are you gonna stop by? That's gonna be so fun. Gonna. 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 That's gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna. That's gonna be. That's gonna be. That's gonna be. That's gonna be so fun. That's gonna be so fun. That's gonna be so fun. She's gonna be fine. Gonna. 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 She's gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna. She's gonna be. She's gonna be. She's gonna be. 
She's going to be fine. She's going to be fine. She's going to be fine. We were going to try that. Gonna. 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 We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We were gonna try that. We were gonna try that. We were gonna try that. They're gonna be on vacation. Gonna. 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 They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna be. They're gonna be. They're gonna be. They're gonna be on vacation. They're gonna be on vacation. They're gonna be on vacation. We're all gonna make it work. Gonna. 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 All gonna. All gonna. All gonna. All gonna make. All gonna make. All gonna make. We're all gonna make it work. We're all gonna make it work. We're all gonna make it work. You know, if you're interested in reductions and training, I have a course dedicated to reductions in my academy, and each example has tons of audio to train with. Visit rachelsenglishacademy.com, check it out, sign up. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love the transformation that takes place when you have the right materials to train with. And be sure to come back every Tuesday for new videos on the English language. Keep your learning going right now with this video, and please do subscribe with notifications. I love being your English teacher. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English.